research project, otherwise known as the GEM project. I use the website, not a PowerPoint. I um, don't want to blend in right now. I'm sort of tired of it. So, a couple of hours, a couple of weeks, I came up with this uh, sort of website, uh, food like off another website I have. So, thank you. And I have to say that I don't consider myself an artist, but I ran through the numbers, ran through the facts, and through some interviews that I held, I found out that I fit most of the categories, except for the degree. And throughout, I read most of it, and I found out something funny, really. Uh, can you head over to the fashion statement? Uh, scroll down a bit, a little bit more. I can find their pen. Uh, so, as a child, I was mostly always with my grandma. And she told me that I should give up on drawing. Because you're either born knowing how to do it, or you learn. And she said, I was not both. And I took that to heart. So I kept practicing about maybe 10 years out of my 17, I was drawing. I went from barely even know draw stick figures, which is sort of funny to me, because now I can draw so much other stuff. I would have brought some of it in, but I don't keep myself. I sort of either sell it or give it away to people that appreciate it. And can you scroll over to Andreas, please? I'm going to stop this for a minute. Let me hear something about you guys. Which of you like to draw in class? Doodle. Get a bore with content most of your life. Ah, oh, come on, seniors. You've got to be a little bit more. So, how many of you have gotten off to the merits? Or pretty much been threatened with getting kicked out of class? Now, that's what I found out. In 2013, I found out some records of a letter signed by our current mayor that he wanted to incorporate art into students' everyday school life. Then budget kept sit, and that was the first thing to go out the window. I was a little bit saddened by that. I was struck how we were only taught how to grab the symphony notes and math that we will never use in our life. Based on Patel. And how we're taught about reading and writing, but we're never taught how to be creative. And that hits me hard. Because I do not want to draw numbers most of my life, even though I want to go into computer programming as a career. Which involves a lot of math. I thought about web design, so I kicked up about this. Uh, using a platform that I heard about, and I loved it. And if you can click on the alley information link, and it worked. And I found how much stuff you can do with what's already out there. And I asked her about it, and she said she is published. She is on several platforms already, uh, representing what she draws, which is anime or illustrations. Uh, she started writing her own uh, graphic novel. And I asked her, what do you see in your art? Uh, can you scroll it down a bit? And uh, go down to number five. Do you believe that maybe going to school for something in the art form was worth it? And of course, she said it depended on the student. Which is true. It does. And she said she liked to compare art school like going to the gym. You can buy a gym membership, but it won't get you fit if you don't go regularly and put the work in. 
Going to art school is something good choice if you decide to work hard and go above and beyond just just your school assignments. You just if you just put in the bare minimum, effort in class, and then party the rest of the time, you won't be a good artist and you won't succeed. Which is basically what we get from mission all the time. Am I not right? And I found that out because in school, I barely get past, I barely go by because I'm focusing on what I want to work in. I want to focus on my trade, and math is not part of it most of the time. And I think you guys can see Ms. Cup here in the background. She's always mad at me because I'm proud in class. And I guess she's right. I should focus more on my studies, but I like to live life on the fun side. And that's not a good thing, I'm just being honest. Not a good You guys should give her an applause because she's stuck with me. Uh, you know the question? <laughs> All right. Uh, if you could scroll back up. And go over to hit the arrow. And what I found out about Alex May, she is she has some traits that I do. I'm stubborn, I'm diligent, and passionate. And I'm 50% sure some of you have this. Raise your hand if you do. If you have three of these characteristics, you're stubborn, diligent, and passionate. Please raise your hand. Okay, almost all of you. You sure that other maybe 10 or 20 people? You sure you're not diligent, passionate, stubborn? Come on, if I ask your teachers or your advisors, one of them is going to say yes. <laughs> One over there. Back to you. Oh. Either you guys are the ones that don't like to participate, or you don't have these traits. So, what are some traits you guys have? about sports? I don't know. That's pretty up over here. Some of you have that as well, don't you? Now, that's what I found out in the Illinois Chicago education system. Uh, outside of Charter, a lot of it sucks, I have to be honest. If I wouldn't gotten in here, I probably wouldn't even kept, gotten killed in Bogan in my first couple of weeks. I did not hang out with the right people. And I found that out. In charter schools, we barely ever talk about art. We had a dance studio, got knocked down. We had an art teacher, she loved. And I got to admit that was a pretty good part. I was waiting for senior year for that. Never got it. And I later found out that you can't depend on the education system to give you what you want. You have to ask for it. If it means walking out, Spanish class should know about that. Oh, sorry, inside joke. And with this merit system, how many of you have gotten into detention you have not agreed with? Uh, how many of you have argued with the trainer or anything and got in and it has been clear? Okay, not that many. So, here's what I came up with the solution. Uh, don't worry, that's not on the website. What I came up with is that we need, as students, to ask for it ourselves. Uh, if teachers don't know, they're not going to provide. And it has been proven that, well, studies have shown that if you focus art in the classwork, in the network, students might feel a little bit better. They might focus on class, 
if you happen to draw something every once in a while, it might improve. And I think that if you add creativity into the student system, uh, you're not going to have such a boring class. And that's what I came up with. You have to be creative, you have to be the man in the demanding, and you have to rebel every once in a while. And if you rebel, make sure I'm out of here by that time. <laughs>